Hey, welcome to the big board. You're back. And since you seem to continue to enjoy shrink rips, I have another one for you. And this is actually an exciting one for me because this will be the first time that I have done a shrink rip on a lock and load tactical game that I didn't either already own or had previously owned. This is a brand new title. Heroes of North Africa, never seen inside it, don't know what it looks like, other than it's very, very heavy for a lock and low tactical game, uh, which would explain, and here's why, six sheets of counters, 700 plus counters of tactical goodness, uh, six geomorphic maps, uh, eight and a half by 12 and three quarters by the looks of it, or eight and a quarter by 12 and three quarters, six double-sided geo geomorphic, uh, and double is spelt with a D-U, not a D-O-U, but you know, we'll let that slide. Uh, 20 scenarios, a bunch of other crap, books, charts, aids, more charts, more dice, more things, awesome, right? Sounds good. Complexity, but put it at a five. I, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the lock and load system over on the lock and load uh, publishing forums, I just don't see the complexity here. It, it you know, I, I've taught a lot of guys to play. I've played a lot of games, solo and opposed, and I just don't find it hard. Uh, most of the time, a common sense will take you to the right answer. So it's uh, it's interesting that to, to see this uh, this this sort of rating on this solitaire play i do believe it <clears throat> it's relatively solitaire friendly but even more so with the solitaire tactical system that's now out that adds a uh, another dimension to the game has some very nicely structured uh, cards and a system to help you decide what to do and how to do it but enough let's see we're dealing with uh i'm gonna i don't that's a little bit of glare here and you probably can't read the writing anyway but uh, let's see Talks about the Italians coming in, about the British and our Commonwealth allies, blah, blah, blah. Here's the North Africa is a complete game in the local low tactical series, features fluid in it and just talks about the game, right? So you all know the system. And if you don't, just go download the rules or go buy the uh, very cheap and or maybe it's even free now. I don't know. There's a trial game you can just download and, and print and play. You can order, you used to be able to order online and get the World War II version of this for free. It sends you a game with a scenario and stuff. It's kind of cool. But we're going to have the Fulgore system uh, division here. We're going to have some Germans from the Africa Corps. Hopefully, you know, 15th Panzer is going to be in there and all that sort of goofy stuff. The Free French, the Americans, the 8th Army. So they are going to have a bunch of crap. Let's see. Let's do it. Let, oh, did I not cut this? I can't get in. Let me in. So let's see, it's kind of a long intro, isn't it? Sorry about that. You're sitting here waiting for me to pull the freaking stuff off. I thought I'd cut this earlier so I could have the highly efficient shrink ripping size, but it's not to be so. Look at that proud little Italian chubby. All right. Once again, it's the new format, big box, three inches deep, huge. Two dice, module rules with uh, correct uh, uh, and scenarios. So uh, let's have a look inside this to start with, just because we're here. You know, I love the way these scenarios are laid out. You've got, <clears throat> you know, it's a two page description here. You've got the outline of the units that are required. You've got the uh, thematic intro here for the scenario. Then you have the map and the orientation of the map with a true north compass on it. Scenario length and the whole thing. And then there, there's usually SSR, special scenario rules here uh, for many of the scenarios and some uh, hidden things like that there. That's a, can you see it says, do not read. Uh, so don't read that section until you play it. And there looks like there might be a bunch of scenarios here. We'll go to the front in a second. Give this a little sneak peek at El Alamein. And Qatar Hamat. Ooh, so this one has a lot of special rules. Uh, Knight, uh, the uh, Long Range Desert Group. <coughs> Web AA weapons teams, aircraft, fuel hangar and ammo sheds. So this might, looks like it might be some sort of uh, night based scenario. Yeah, probably a raid of some sort. Looks like it might be. That's pretty cool. All right, 
right, so you're going to get a real VA Hockham. You're going to get a real feel. Look, big three map scenarios as well. Very groovy. All right, it's got me excited. Some of the other titles are coming out. Um, all right, well, these are cool, dude. I'm, I'm excited. So let's see. Uh, the, there are a few special rules in this for the Italians. Uh, kind of the uh, nation-specific rules. Here's a list of scenarios that you can see on the left-hand side. And then um, let me just check this out real quick. Hit and run movement. Uh, some sort of, uh, okay, so Molotov cocktails, no big deal. Superscripted firepower, well-equipped and trained Italians. Uh, probably won't be, you can see that there. I'm going to have to angle the camera down a little bit. Uh, it's just got a little E above uh, above these guys, so they'll hopefully they'll be reasonably rare. <laughs> uh, hit and run units with a red marker on it, a red uh, movement rate on it, so that's new and different. It has a hit and run marker, so it's going to be kind of like a salt move, I assume. I will look at that when we play it. Smoke is handled differently. Thank you, dog, for barking right now. Uh, some terrain markers, desert terrain, issues, awadis, sand, groves, okay, under bridges, bogging down in the sand, dust clouds, oh, there we go, dust clouds, cool, dust effects, rooftops, we can now get on the rooftops of some of the buildings, how about that, chaplains, Italian forces, unpredictable royal army, the Volgore, or Tough Paratroopers, the Alpini Elite Units, they have an A, superscript, uh, what does that do for them? Something to do with their firepower, so I'll have to check that out, maybe it's an MO issue. Uh, Bersaglieri, <clears throat> better trained and equipped than most. This is all just little extra things that you're going to have to remember when you play the game. And sometimes I like these these uh, na national sort of thematic aspects of the game. And other times I don't. Other times it's just a pain in the ass. French forces, that's curiously interesting. German forces, Rommel. Desert Fox. Psychological Edge. Then the American forces to see yeah uh, here we go so we're seeing a slightly lower morale ratings for the US forces which is good because they were new and raw and green uh, then some specifics on vehicles and things like that very cool air support craters okay there's a bunch of stuff there's a bunch of new things in here that are very interesting some of them may be superfluous have them. Uh, the dog is going crazy. What is going on? All right, well, I'm going to keep going. That's so. That's a scenario book. Nice. You've got a full color rule book. I've talked about the rule book before. You know what I think about it. If you haven't heard what I have to say about it, then go watch another video. Okay, maps. <clears throat> wow, big stuff. So here we go. So we've got uh, double sided maps. Okay, so I had to pause for a minute there. Double-sided maps is where we're at. It's pretty cool. We'll pull a terrain chart out actually in a second here. Let's find one and see what all these fun things are. It's different terrain. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Strips, beaches. Hmm, I'm assuming you guys can see that okay. Standard heavy construction, medium uh, light construction, palms, groves, Amada, hills, sand, scrub, surf, wadis. Okay. Walls and then. Uh, dust clouds and things like that. Okay, 
So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's keep looking here. Now we've got the dogs to stop barking for a few minutes. So the double sided guys. Line action. I love the artwork on this. You can see that. And then the non double sided maps, which, of which there are many. I'm trying to lay some of these out for you. Got some buildings. Should have done that 20 minutes ago, right? Or 10 minutes ago. Well, lots of heavy buildings on this map. Look at that. Village along the roadside, some sort. Less heavily structured buildings, also double sided. Okay, very cool. And pretty much a clear map there. So I'm going to pull all those guys. Just one last one with the road on it. And double side with the, with the whitey. All right, so there's that. Okay, so, but I hear you saying, Kev, really, show us the units. All right, charts. So it's a skill reference card. You know that uh, leaders and heroes can uh, receive skill cards, which offer them unique abilities that may be used multiple times or one time. There's a nice little summary chart that you can tells you how to pretty much play the game all in one shot. And there's also another rules reference chart, which you've seen before. I won't show you show it to you. Uh, turn track, which you've seen before. Let's have a look at the counters now. Let's move this out of the way and let's start from the back. So all the information counters that you would normally expect. Plus uh, some low ammo counters, and there's some vehicles down the bottom here. So we've got Crusaders, beautifully uh, formatted and printed, by the way. Nothing looks offset or incorrect. I wonder on the back of Assault Move if it says uh, Hit and Run. No, it's a low crawl. All right, we'll have to find the Hit and Run ones. But uh, you can see Crusader 2s and Valentines. We've got infantry units. These are uh, free French by the looks of it. Some more German vehicles, Panzer IVs, some British and American vehicles, different Crusaders. Uh, and the British top top. Up here, there's Sergeant Newell with the famous Sergeant Newell, the most cherubic Sergeant you'll ever meet. Doesn't he look happy? <laughs> All right. High morale, as you can see, fives and sixes for the for the British. Fives for the Free French. Let's uh, move on now to the Italians, who have a range of values. Uh, obviously, some of the higher end, higher quality units are uh, scoring sixes, but then you've got a lot of fours in here with asterisks. Asterisks. I don't know what those mean. We'll have to check those out in the rules. We've got our little horse jockeys and camel jockeys, and then the, a variety of uh, light. Uh, AT, uh, AT, uh, uh, AFVs. And more, uh, what do we got here? Panzer threes, Italian, uh, the Mark 13s. More German units. Not a lot of uh, German infantry. Ooh, a lot of leaders. Look at all these little leader dudes up here. A lot of Italian leaders. And 
So you got a couple of heroes in here as well. Okay, very cool. We keep going. Uh, this is all just uh, if you want to use the turret rules, you can in this game. And these are all now by nation by nation type as well, which is interesting. And they didn't used to do that. I don't think maybe they did. Uh, there's some more vehicles down here. Okay. Wonder if artillery play, plays a big uh, part in the game. There's our hit and run counter. And some bunkers and other bits and pieces, Vickers machine guns and Bren carriers, of course. What would be a what would be a uh, North Africa game without Bren carriers and Matildas? So there you go. All right, this is uh, Heroes of North Africa. I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, I, I, as you guys know, I I really enjoy the modern. Uh, uh, titles a lot uh, but the African uh, theater is one that I do have an interest in I'm a big fan of the strategic level stuff so let's uh, be curious to see how this all plays out uh, at the tactical level uh, nice open fields of fire and some good running tank battles hopefully and fun stuff like that so that's a quick little look at the heroes of North Africa from Lock and Load Publishing I hope you enjoyed it